Well, hello there, my friends. So we've got a difficult decision ahead of us, and that is whether or not we continue to attack the Soviets or we wait for the Soviets to attack us. Uh, it is definitely a real tough decision. Now, we do have some tank brigades here, some martyrs, etc., which could probably do some serious damage to the Soviets, but we also have a lot of turns left in this campaign, and I'm thinking that maybe it's a better idea to let them go ahead and do their worst. So that's what I'm going to do, at least right now. As you can see, we're also building some trenches because of this. Now, part of me is saying go ahead and hit this Soviet uh, area here, and that might be the only reason I'm going to go ahead and call an attack, but we're putting a lot of our tanks on the line to do this, so if I'm going to do that, I'm also going to do this, and I'm going to attack all over the place here, and we're going to turn this into basically a major assault. Um, I think we're going to be probably starting to fight right here. Um, as you can see with that great defense of last mission, and if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend you do, we are going to have to, of course, we actually took this area, but we're going to have to go ahead and, yeah, maybe go ahead and attack this area where there are Soviets entrenched um, and maybe take a little more area for ourselves and even maybe go for this victory point so here we go guys we're going for it it's going to be an attack I know it's not the greatest idea in the world but maybe it is a good idea uh, let's see what happens and best of luck to us okay well here we are guys it's a clear full-out attack I mean it's pretty straightforward I mean this is what we were talking about and we've got guys like Rob Grau Remember, you guys know Grau from the last mission, an absolute hero. This might be Grau's last day. I hate to say that, but it really might be. And if we're going to attack the, so or the Soviets, we're going to attack them in force. Um, we've also got some very few uh, over here um, allies that should assist with this attack. But we're going to go ahead and get this started. We're deploying our troops. And yes, we are going for a full-out attack on the Soviet lines. It does look like it's nighttime. I'm going to be leading all together major assaults and attacks all along the line. This could go terribly for us, or it could go very well. We really don't know. Um, of course, I'm leaving the trucks behind. There's no reason to make them move. We'll move some more infantry forward, but this is going to be an assault of epic proportions by the Germans. Um, we can already see some smoke popping up, some flares. So we know that the enemy is preparing for our assault. Um, we're leaving our trenches just to hit them, and I'm hoping that this was not a crazy idea and that it's actually going to work. But at this point, our fury is strong, and we must keep it going. We'll be back when we make some contact, guys. It looks like we've actually already got some units retreating. Um, it's Dietrich, and this is actually a leader of the Martyrs. We can't have him retreat, and why would he at this point? He's doing great. Grau, of course, is still moving forward, although he's getting stuck kind of in this wood line. That's not good. Let's go ahead and back him up. Do a little reverse action here. Um, but yeah, we could get some tanks stuck in crappy positions. That's a possibility. There we go. Grau is back. But we're going to send him out there um, into the great wild west or the wild east in this case and hope for the best. We will get back, my friends, when we start having some contact. I'm actually going to have Grau fast move. It might be because his commander's retreating that he's not deciding to fight. This would, without a doubt, be a death sentence for a Soviet commander to retreat when we haven't even started the battle. This guy, excuse me, a German commander to retreat when we haven't even started the battle. This guy is a traitor. Luckily, Grau is going forward. We'll get back to you when we have some action. Enemy contact, my friends. It has begun. And look at this. It looks like our men have found some sort of Soviet ammo depot. That guy just went flying. That was beautiful. Um, it's a mortar. So uh, we've actually found a mortar position with some of our Mausers. Um, of course, at this point, we've got to continue the attack. We can't stop here. Yes, the Mausers are open for some serious damage if they get hit at this particular range. So I'm going to try to keep them here. And Pister is the first one that got hit. So we're going to keep Losser and the rest of these guys right here. I see a lot of Soviet machine gun positions, a lot of Soviet mortar positions here. But we've got to continue the assault. We can't stop now. It's way too late. We've already put ourselves into a tough situation. And I already see, actually, um, a Soviet tank over here. I'm hoping we can hit it with Heldrick and Elman. But for sure, this is a tough spot. There's definitely some Soviet tanks in the area. And they're actually getting some amazing hits on Elman. I hope that he's okay. He's got to keep firing. Come on, Elman. It looks like the gunner... No, the gunner's fine. The gunner's fine. Everybody's okay. We just need to really be strong here. Um... Of course, it looks like some AT guns here that the enemy's using. Lasser 
is also moving here on the enemy. It looks like we just got a hit on the enemy there. Beautiful. Keep hitting that Soviet tank. We want to turn Lassar this way. But the enemy is definitely in this position and in serious force. We need to make sure that our infantry reaches this position soon. And they are moving quickly um, on a true assault. But somebody needs to take out these Soviet tanks. We've got some more enemy contacts, of course. But we're doing our best to try and loosen up these positions, try and destroy them before they become serious. Maybe we should have stayed in a defensive position, but that would have just given the enemy more time to really build up their uh, their forces. So I hope that Elman here can kill some of these Soviet tanks. Hopefully we can get a kill on the enemy. We've definitely taken out a number of their infantry, but we've also lost two to three martyrs. Um, Lasser here has the best chance of killing the enemy. Um, we've got to keep hitting that tank unit. We've got to try to destroy it. Um, because at this point, it is the difference between life and death for our men. Looks like they're focusing mostly on the enemy in those fields. I don't think that's the smartest idea in the world. But at least our men are firing consistently at these tank units. And two vehicles lost right there. Uh, Elman and Heldrich. Uh, these guys, Heldrich, got completely burned out. Elman, we may still be able to salvage eventually. But the enemy definitely is uh, is not in the greatest position, but they have set up in the best position they can. You can see that round going right past the tank. We've got to kill that bastard. And I do believe, could he be on fire? I do see fire around. But I think, oh yeah, oh yeah, that thing is smoking. That thing is smoking, guys. That is a dead Soviet tank. We've got to count our blessings here. We've got to turn to the left. There's a lot of Soviet uh, commanders here. And we want to take them out as well as any per per possible tanks that we see. Our men are absolutely filling this area with lead. Our guys like Rob, of course. Um, I wonder if our good friend is still alive. And it looks like the enemy's already asking for a ceasefire. Shemansky's still alive. But let's see who we've lost. Um, we may have lost our glorious friend. I hope we didn't. Elman, Ginther, Nein, they're all good. Lasser, Ginther, Pister, no, these guys are all okay. And as you can see, our infantry is also dealing with some Soviet infantry. And Grau is still alive. We see Grau over there to the right. Sorry, guys, wrong button. Um, let's actually take a look at Grau. And he's definitely doing okay. As always, the staunch um, Viking. We like to call him the Viking Legion here. He's still alive. The crew's still good. I like the position they're taking here, but we're not giving up until we destroy all of these Soviet areas. I will, of course, take a quick look at our infantry units as they move up. And it, remember, it's it's dawn now. It's, it's becoming very dark. Um, so our men are moving forward, but of course, there's always the threat of death. Taking these areas, though, is of utmost importance. And, of course, the fact that we've got uh, guys behind the enemy lines ain't helping us one bit. That's why we need Seedler to come and assist and try to destroy the guys behind our, our uh, Mausers. Uh, looks like our allies aren't doing much here. They're trying their best. At least Ginther's still alive temporarily, but he's not in the best of shape. Let's take a look at him. Ooh, he's getting hit hard here. Looks like he's still okay. We found a Soviet trench also. The men are still alive here, so we're going to continue the attack. Uh, just try to kill every single one of the Soviets. But for sure, Ginther is down one crew member. And this could get serious. That enemy really wants a ceasefire. It looks like our all-out attack is actually working here. This is an example of an attack that works. Of course, people are going to die in the attack. But is it worth it? I don't know yet. It looks like Elmon is still alive. We got a Soviet uh, right in front of Elman. This could be dangerous. We must be careful. And actually, I'm sorry, that's not a Soviet. That's one of our own men. We've got a Soviet to the left of Elman. So I'm going to turn here to the left. Hopefully not exposing my back to any enemies. Our infantry is still moving forward. Elman, did you lose a track, my friend? Elman may have lost a track, guys. Ah, the driver... Me? No, he's okay. He's doing all right. Right now, our infantry is doing most of the work. Um, and as you can see, all those little flags, those are all Soviet commanders. We're not leaving this area unless they retreat. It's that simple. Um, so we're going to continue this attack. It is a ferocious attack. Dahlin and a bunch of other German commanders are leading it, of course, trying to break through the Russian lines here. Our men are being absolutely ferocious. They know that we have the advantage, but for how long? That's the question. Come on, boys. Keep firing. 
I love seeing those rounds at night. Enemy retreats, that's what I'm talking about, baby. That's what we like to see. The enemy retreating as quickly as possible. Um, they're going to try to get the hell out of here before they lose all their men. And, of course, this means we take this area. I'd still like to get as many kills as possible and try to avoid as many losses as possible. The fact is, by doing this attack, we lost some martyrs. So I definitely want to see what you guys have to say in the comments on whether this was the right thing to do. Um, you know, we still, like this guy on the right, he's damaged. He's got a shot to the neck, but he's still alive. Um, and I'm, I'm thinking that this was a good thing. Now, of course, we've got new defensive positions to hold. And we've got to really try to hold them and really hold them. I think the continuous fire from our men is definitely doing damage to them. But they're going to have to leave this position. And now it becomes our position to defend. That's either really good news or really, really bad news. Um, nonetheless, we're getting closer to their only victory location, which could turn the war on for us, basically give us the advantage of the war. Um, and I want to see how many martyrs we actually lost during this battle. But you can see that those beautiful tracer rounds are nothing but good news when they're hitting the enemy. So it is considered a draw. Now, I think we did unbelievably well. We had 10 casualties, only 3 men killed, 7 men heavily wounded, 9 wounded. The enemy lost 52 men, 29 men killed, 23 heavily wounded, 6 wounded. In terms of lost vehicles, we lost 3 martyrs. There's no pretty way to paint that. The enemy lost five vehicles, though. Um, and I think part of those vehicles aren't only tanks. We killed two tanks. But sometimes gravity tactics counts mortars and things like that as vehicles. Um, I don't know why they do that. But for whatever reason, they do. And we did a pretty good job. Obviously, if they didn't retreat from this area, we would have absolutely destroyed them. There's a beautiful example of one of the enemy vehicles. Is that not a T-34? People keep um, telling me it's a KV-1 or... Or something like that. I think that is a T-34. We definitely destroyed Soviet AT guns, which is definitely considered a vehicle in this game. And a bunch of dead Soviet commissars. There's one of them. I can't tell if this is a victory or a defeat. I'm going to let you guys decide. And of course, we're going to take a look at the map after in the current casualties that we have in this campaign. And I think that's going to help us really determine whether or not this was a victory or not. So look at that, guys. All of that territory is ours. But this bottom half right here... And this tiny area right here. And actually, this area is an area with our infantry we're going to have to defend against a Soviet assault for our next video. But I want to look at the overall casualties here. Uh, let me take a look. Uh, sorry, wrong button. So right now, we have 17 wounded, 34 heavily wounded, and 30 killed. The enemy have 13 wounded, 52 heavily wounded, and 95 killed. So far, we're doing pretty damn good. We've destroyed 6 tanks and SPGs and 1 gun. Um, the enemy has destroyed six tanks and SPGs and two guns and MGs. Overall, it's kind of even, but in terms of casualties, I think we're doing much better. And the next battle is going to determine whether or not we're winning this campaign. Again, if you enjoy Gravitine Tactics, Mice Front, and you want to see more, you've got to help me with this channel, obviously. Now with this YouTube Armageddon thing going on, it's really hard to get views. We're not even putting it in the features list, which is terrible. So make sure to hit that like button, drop a comment down below, let me know if you think it was a good idea to, to attack or not. We did gain a major victory point right there. Now we have three victory points, which in this case, if the campaign ended today, it would be a definite victory. But I want you guys to tell me what you think. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, drop a comment down below, and have an awesome day, my friends.